Importante rin yan. Anong vision mo? Importante rin, anong skill mo? What is your skill that you can turn into a business? Even when you seek employment, you still need the skill to be hired. Whether it's in a technical, digital, or brand management, or sales, that is a skill. Now, in business, once you're good at your skill, you can convert it to a negotio. Pero, there are more failures than success, I have to tell you. But, there is no reason why you should not try, especially if you know that you have the right skill and the right mindset. And many of these mentors here today with us have gone through their journey either as a working professional or as an entrepreneur. So, tuloy-tuloy ang tulong ng negosyo sa lahat ng mga MSMEs. Ang role namin ngayon, ang role ko ngayon sa administration ni President Marcos is to create more jobs. That is my role in this committee. And job creation is created by our micro and small entrepreneurs. They generate 70% of the jobs in this country today. Kaya, kailangan natin tulungan ang mga micro, small and medium enterprises. Yung mga digital platforms natin ngayon, umahaw na. They're doing extremely well. Ngayon, halos lahat kayo siguro may e-wallet, may GCash, o may Maya. Yun ang pinaka-importante. Dapat, yung pandemya, nagbigay ng kahirapan sa mga negosyante. Pero, may blessing rin ang nangyayari dyan. It forced every Filipino out there right now, most Filipinos, to adopt an e-wallet, a GCash, o Maya. Nung nangyari sa Amerika, naumun lahat, ay dahil sa digitalization. Sa, kasi sa Amerika, halos lahat ng citizens nila, even sa Europa, even sa Asia, lahat sila, halos lahat may credit card. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, kaya hindi umun lahat yung negosyo at tulad ngayon, ay wala, hihira magpa-qualify na kumuha ng credit card. Pero sa GCash at kay Maya at marami pang lumalabas ng e-wallet. Parang credit card niya ang tawag niya debit card. Kaya mas magbilis ang mga transactions. At nakita natin ngayon ng Lazada, Shopee, ang Kras, lahat yan. Yan na, yun ang mga platforms na wala dati. Ngayon, nandito yan. So, mas di wala kayo dito sa mga supermarket, sa mga malls, okay lang yan. Itong mga platforms, is giving you that alternative. Kaya iba dito sa mga mentors natin, ang expertise ang um, digital platforms. We will have a lot of events bringing all the digital platforms, katulad ng ang CAS, kung magaling ka mag motorcycle, pwede kang maging isang tawag nano entrepreneur. Pilis mo ikaw ang nangyayari sa negosyo mo. At parami ganyan. So, those with skills will be able to find not only a job, you can find your own business because of these digital platforms. So, huwag kayong mga niwala sa mga nagsasabi hopeless ng Pilipinas. Sa administration ni President Marcos, tuloy-tuloy ang pag-aasenso ng mga negosyante. At si President Marcos is on top of our MSCB program. So, we are here to help you. But we cannot force you to become successful. It is you who will determine whether you will be successful or not. So it's all in your hands. We will guide you with these mentors who are here. They come here and spend their Saturdays with us to help you. But in the end, define your skill and have the right mindset. And the rest will happen. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Sir Joey, what's Sir Joey, bago lang po, Joey. Uh, can we just ask one more question? Maraming mga negosyans dito ngayon ay naghanap po ng klaseng negosyo pwedeng pasukan ngayon, di ba? Uh, especially ngayon, alam nila mag-digitalization sila. Pero anong negosyo ang ibibenta nila? Ang negosyo ang papasukan nila ngayon? Ang trends nakikita mo ngayon, Joe? 
Well, first of all, kanina may isang influenza tayo, no? Ang unang-una, importante, yung mag magaling dyan sa iPhone at mag-post, subukan nyo maging influencer content creator, no? At nakikita ko, maraming Filipino talaga dito na creative, no? At importante rin yan kasi why are we bringing the influencers here, no? The influencers and content creators is in our business, we have a marketing group. So, if content creators and influencers will help you market your product or your service, importante yan. So, it is good to learn from these content creators, influencers, some of them. We have events that focus only on content creators and influencers. You can be one of that. As you see, the, the influencer earlier was an inter is an entrepreneur. So many entrepreneurs, you now have access to digital media. Ang nawawalan ngayon ang mga traditional media. Nagkikita natin, nawala ng teleradyo. Thank you po. Nawala na rin ang G Channel 2. So, halos lahat ng mga tao, they're spending more time in their phone. So that's an opportunity, no? Of course, marami ni John, uh, uh, all over, are the simple sari-sari stores, no? Oh. Pero medyo kulong-kulong na yan ang sari-sari stores. So mag-isip kayo ng may bang idea ng negosyo na will differentiate you from the others. So if you want to get into a restaurant, then you have to be an expert in cooking. So you can be in restaurant kung wala ka rin na lang ng skill sa culinary. So remember, whether you work or you are a negosyante, you have to have a skill. Whether it's in marketing, retail and sales, just remember that. So, what I'm trying to say now, digitalization is happening and it's going to help all of you. Okay, maraming salamat po sa payo ni Joey Concepcion. Maraming salamat. Ayun mo lang mga kaibigan, magsisalam po yung ating mentorship.